this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and today we have Jensen in the chair and what we're gonna do is a really quick way of uh, doing a big voluptuous, is it voluptuous, is that the word? Yeah, blowout um, on her in just a few simple sections. So what we're gonna do is start off, take our clips. Um, so we're gonna go through and I'm gonna create just a little bit of a diamond on the top of the head here. And that really, the reason I'm uh, creating this kind of square diamond shape, however you want to look at it, uh, on the top of the head is that's where all the volume is going to come from. So I want to keep that kind of sectioned away. I'm definitely going to pop that up with a lot of uh, elevation in the blow dry. Then what I want to do is just separate the front and the back. And this back part, I'm not looking to get a lot of volume in this, you know, in the underneath of her hair. Definitely here. So this part, I just want to get a nice little wave going with her hair. So I want to split this in half right behind the ear. Take a nice clean line out of the bottom. Thaddeus, let me know if we can't see that. Thad is hashtagging everything right now. So there we go, real clean section, and we take that out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a product called Hot Off The Press. This is my favorite uh, product for heat protection, so we had talked about that on our podcast earlier today. Um, so we're going to use that. It also has a nice little medium hold to it, so I'm going to use that prior to my blow dry. So it's going to give me hold and also protect the hair from the heat. So I want to grab this whole base of the section. We're gonna grab that all in one. So we'll turn. I want you guys to see the elevation of this. That's really the most important part. The other thing you're gonna see is as I blow dry and I'm working down with the blow dryer, I'm aiming the air of the blow dryer down over the cuticle. So the only way that you get shiny hair is if that cuticle is laying down. The way that you get rough, uh, non-shiny hair is blow drying the cuticle up. The cuticle is what makes the hair shine. This is, I guess this is the point I'm trying to get to here. Um, so when you look at the hair, if you see a shine, it's the light reflecting off of the cuticle of the hair. So, so we're gonna just bring the hair out, run the blow dryer over top of the hair. I'm gonna work this whole section up and just build a little bit of volume in there, but mostly just a slight wave to the hair. So we'll do that real quick. freestyle blow dryer, I can just put it right back up there. We're gonna let that cool for a second. As it cools, we'll give it a little bit of an extra body firm spray. Just a slight bit. You don't wanna spray it too close, you don't wanna make the hair wet. And I'm gonna let that out. I'm gonna grab it up in my hand. Just twist it. You don't have to be too clean here. Just twist it up and under. Take a pin curl clip. Clip it underneath there. I'm gonna hit it on both sides just so that it stays in. So then what I'm gonna do is split this part in half in the back. So we got one section on this side, and then one section on that side. So we'll hit this with a little bit of hot off the press. Brush that product through. Now our hair is protected. We're gonna go through, we're gonna blow dry this, and I'm gonna actually over direct it towards her face, this whole entire section. So this is easy if you're working at home because you can just take this whole section, wrap it around your head, and just actually round brush it towards your face. Uh, it makes it real simple, and what's gonna do is push that weight backwards and kind of flip it out, uh, out of the back. So we'll do that real quick. Again, we're gonna do so a little bit of extra body spray. Kind of dusting it over the top. Let it set for a second. And we're gonna take all this hair out. Curl it up and clip it away. So all this hair is heated up. So as it's 
Uh, we're gonna clip it so that it cools that way. Then we're gonna have a longer lasting hold on the curl. A lot of times we'll curl it up with a, with a round brush and then we'll just brush it or comb it out with our hands. What that does is stretches the curl while it's still warm and then you're gonna lose that wave to it. So just make sure you let it cool and set it for yourself. Now we grab our other section, hot off the press. Working that in the ends. And again, blow drying it, round brushing it towards the face. Letting it cool, a little bit of extra body spray. Let it out. Slide my clip up into it. And just let those set just like that. Now we're gonna work on the front and the top, which are the most important things. Really in the back, we're just trying to get a wave in there. Now what I wanna do is go through and we're really gonna work some volume into this. So my first step is to take a whole triangle section right out of the fringe. So we've had some people asking about how to round brush or blow dry a side bang. Well, here is my way, what I like to do with it. So what I'm gonna do is, Jensen likes to wear her hair to the left hand side, so what I'm gonna do is actually round brush it to the right hand side, which that'll give me a lot more volume. So, just like that. Can you see this side or should I go to the other side? Can you see the other side? Oh, you want me to just, want to check this? <laughs> you wanna do a comparison? Yeah. Other side, this is good? Okay, so again, hot off the press. Using both sides of the part. So the part is actually in the center of this. There you go, thanks. And we're gonna round brush it over off to the other side. That's going to give us volume when the hair comes back over and a nice little kick and flip into it. And this is gonna be right on base, so right uh, basically 90 degrees parallel from the head. That'll give us the most volume, it'll give us a nice bit of volume, and also give us um, a light airy feel to the fringe. So now, still again, we're gonna twist this up, and I do wanna use a light clip. Yeah, let me hop on in here with me. Clip it too hard in the hair. So I don't want to crease anything. Now I'll do one more section here. Let that set, let it cool. Thank you, Dad. A little bit of the extra body spray, just missed it on there. Roll it out. So just taking that whole temple area. Like I said, this is something that you want to be easy for you and your guests. So we're not taking a lot of sections. Now this panel, this is her heavy side, so she's gonna have a couple more. So I'll separate that with my fingers. I'm gonna work that so this way. There we go.
you'll notice that all these sections are, are pretty much straight out from the head. That's going to give me a lot of volume in there. Last section, this is all the volume right here. So we're gonna break this up into two. Let's go with my finger. And the same, same rule is gonna apply here. So I want to round brush it in the opposite direction that she's gonna wear it. So it's gonna come back this way. So I wanna round brush it over this way. So we'll use a little bit, hot off the press again. Really get that into the ends of the hair. One section, extra body spray. Before it cools off, I get it nice and set. Clipping that. And one more section here. Let's pull it forward. And this is sitting way back low in the crown, so um, over directing this this far forward is going to give a lot of volume. I want you to notice that this is all moving this direction because we're going to push it back in the opposite direction. All right, so we got that set up there. Now I'm going to give it one more mist with the extra body spray. So what we want to do now is start in the back, taking out our clips. You can see a nice little wave in there. We really see it to come to life in the shorter layers. Now let's take all these two, pop those into the back. What I want to do is run my hands into her hair, really let that kind of break it up and let it come to life, scrunch up those curls. It's really all about allowing air to kind of flow into the hair to create a lot of that volume. So I'm lifting this hair up, but I'm really putting the spray underneath it just to open up the style. What we'll do is kind of brush the hair back with our fingers, and then I'm going to push it forward in there and allow those curls to kind of just move and come to life and that volume to happen. Then I can run my hands into it. Then we'll tilt her head to the side a little bit, add a little bit more spray to it. Go to this side. You can see how going to the opposite direction gives it that kick onto the other side. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please check out the rest of our 
videos on freesaloneducation.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, check out all of our videos. Thank you very much.